Yo, we got the biggest factory. Okay, Tesla has the biggest factory, has the biggest manufacturing. And we're gonna show you a video. We're gonna keep it close to the chest, but I'm gonna show you why we're the best. Shout outs and fair use to future ads, but here we go. Let's show and get into the video about how our factory is the best on the marketplace. That time again, what time is it? It's time to do a size comparison. How big is Giga Texas, especially with the addition compared to some of the other very large, very famous buildings of tremendous size. Let's find out. I'm Brian. Welcome to Futuraza. Oh, 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 oh. A quick thank you to today's sponsor, Joa, who made this video possible. Uh, they provide an amazing array of uh, third-party accessories for your Tesla. I, okay, shout I mean, out to knows? them. It's probably well, both. Uh, guys, so here it is. It ain't pretty, but it is what it is. This is a little place you may know of. It is called Jija Tejas. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then now, guys, look how big the factory is. It's bigger than the Pentagon. So it's a pretty large factory. Okay. And it has built recently inside of Texas, which is pretty amazing because, you know, Texas is at least a little bit more friendly towards businesses. So we're super happy about having Tesla down here in Texas. And then uh, we can add on the extension. You can see it right here. Uh, but let's add it on anyhow. Boom. Looks like that. Not too bad. So if you see the extension, which was also added, so it was already a big building, but this extension to build out the supercomputer has been amazing. And definitely I'm looking forward. And guys, just look at how much energy and attention, money and time goes in to developing this whole entire addition to an already large factory and a facility and creating something complex. And if you guys don't know that this is going to have so much potential as far as the revenue model, as far as our profit margins go, it's ridiculous. The artificial and intelligence, we're building this whole entire addition to this big facility. And that's what happens when a company is providing research and development and adding capital expenditures, which is pumping more money into the actual company on big items in order to increase revenue and profit and decrease expenses. I mean, this is going to be amazing, but you could just see it right here. Not too bad. So I'm going to pull those out. And now we've got the Boeing plant in Everett. This is famously the largest building in the world. It's not. It's the largest by cubic volume because the ceiling has to be high enough to comfortably accommodate the tail of the largest jumbo jet Boeing makes. If we were to look at it compared to uh, Giga Texas, it would look like that. Hmm. Perhaps not as big as we thought, but this does. So the Boeing facility is pretty big, but remember, the actual height of the actual ceiling is going to be extremely high because the plane has to come in versus cars is not as big as planes when you're talking about height wise and also width. But net net at the end of the day. So the facility or the building that houses these warehouses that they manufacture these planes, uh, they're going to have to be extremely tall. But when it comes down to the size of the building, look how big it is. Right. And he's also included the extra wing that has been developed. This does have two, three, four floors in different places. And compared to this single building here, yes, I can see the comparison. Let's move on to the Mall of America. Uh, at one point, this was the largest mall in the world. Pretty cool. Uh, how big is it compared to Giga Texas? Well, yeah, that's a lot bigger factory, I think. Uh, so uh, I had a chance to... And so look, the mall... Used to be the biggest building in the world. We were just like happy about it, whatever. But as you can see, now we have the biggest manufacturing actual building versus the mall. And people in America always complain about consumption. They're like, yo, consumption is the cornerstone of America, especially now. We've moved away from manufacturing. Well, companies like Tesla does bring back manufacturing at, at its finest. The biggest buildings are no longer malls, but they're actually manufacturing facilities, right? where we assemble and create not only just the cars, but also battery technology and artificial intelligence in one building. This is housed in one building, guys. So we're manufacturing cars in that building. We're actually also manufacturing batteries and then artificial intelligence. That's how important this building is. And that really changed the paradigm and the narrative of, hey, man, America is a consumption or a, consumer, a consumption nation. That's all we're worried about. Look at the Mall of America, man, that goes to show you where our energy, attention, and time is going. 
And we're building out real estate. We're building out a bunch of space where people could just buy things instead of building out space where people can actually create products and services. And in this Tesla facility, we're creating products and services, artificial intelligence, and then also the cars and batteries and et cetera. So we're making a big change over here at Tesla. You're welcome, America. Factory, I think. Uh, so uh, I had a chance to go autocross racing with Scott recently at uh, this place. Pretty cool. It is um, a great big track out in the middle of uh, Packwood, Washington. So he's out here showing him spending, spending his money and spending his time going out there and having fun. Back here, down here, over here, and finish line. Race, race, race. How big is uh, Giga Texas compared to this? Well, wow, that's fairly bulky. That's my gosh. You could have, well, considering there's multiple floors, eight autocross circuits inside of there at any given time. So we're going to fast forward into some more facilities. All right. One story. So even if you add those, I mean, my gosh, the Nissan uh, Smyrna plant in Tennessee looks a bit like this. So here we go. Matching it with other car manufacturers, right? So it's not only just malls and stuff. Oh, you know what? That looks bigger. Is it bigger? We'll find out as we see production uh, increase over the coming years. Then, And then, then I want you guys to see this. This is also Ford. Look how messy Ford is. Uh, Ford. I had a chance to tour the Ford Rouge plant, which is pretty cool. Um, but it's a mess. It is such an antiquated mess. And Giga Texas is still quite large i mean if you added all these buildings together it's probably more square footage maybe not it might be one story through most of it i only had the opportunity to see final assembly pretty interesting gm's and look how messy it is look how messy it is if you guys can see it from the top let me bring it on the bigger screen but look how messy this place is in comparison to our facility and it's a couple of floors four floors versus everything being all stretched out all over the place looking like a bunch of mess, a hot mess. No disrespect for it. There are pictures on screen right now of the Devonshire Dock Hall. And here we go. That's a little bigger. So Gary has been inside this building and found it unfathomably large. He said, could you compare it? And boom, here we go. And remember, this extends all the way down to here. It's a big place. I one student who is like 3,500. So we got all this type of construction going on constantly right now which puts us in the lead for a lot of things not just actually in all the manufacturing and automotive industry but just across the board right we're creating more product better facilities that are going to be utilized not for consumption but for production and that's different right that's not what you usually hear when it comes down to the narrative of what united states is doing uh, this is just kind of silly. This is one of the arenas in Austin. It's the Mercedes-Benz Stadium, and it looks ridiculous. That's not even a fair comparison. Uh, but let's get back to some serious stuff. Las Vegas Convention Center. That's a good one. Um, it's big. If you've ever been there, I mean, there's a boring tunnel beneath it. That's a sign of bigness, I think is the scientific term. And Giga Texas. Wow, it is huge. And again, remember, this is two, three, four stories in places. So it is. So this is this. Guys, I don't know where most people get off thinking that we're not bringing back American manufacturing at its strongest. I mean, if you're just looking at this facility alone, you're seeing that. Wow, we're making some good strides. And you could describe anything and make it fun and enjoyable, what somebody says. Also, he says, yes, NYC Central Park is bigger than most towns, and people can't perceive its size until you visit it and think that you could walk through it. I used to ride there every Sunday. So guys is talking about his experience with all these different types of buildings, and in comparison, how big and how serious, of course, something like the factory is that's in Texas. Now, we have one in Texas. We have it in California. New York and Nevada. And so those are four factories that are stretched out across America. If we're not bringing back jobs, if we're not doing something amazing over here, then please tell me who is in the comment section. I would like to know because I would like to have a great conversation with them in order to see if we can keep up with the competition. But I'm sorry, I have not been able to see. Brian, it would be interesting to see the entire Tesla property in Austin compared to other things. Joe flies around, but I'm not sure he shows all of the undeveloped land that's available for future expansion. Exactly. This doesn't even get to all the other land that's there for expansion. And of course, Tesla continues to build out other things in there. Like if they're storing the cars after they're producing or producing those vehicles over in those lots, we have that. 
We have the boring tunnel, which is being built. So cars don't have to waste time driving on the interstate and getting off of the exit and going across the lot, which is across the highway. We just went right underneath ground and that's going to save energy, attention and time. I know it sounds crazy, but that's what's going to happen. It's means something. It's important. And then I tried at one time to figure out how large Giga Texas was. I wound up with around one mile long and as stated, three to four floors of space. That's mighty big. That's mighty big. And that's an actual good direction that we're moving in when it comes down to American manufacturing and industrialization. And I don't only say industrialization, but the building not only represents industrialization, but digitization. It also represents artificial intelligence. It also represents the battery making back to industrialization. So we're out here doing things that other companies are not doing. And so Tesla has a big factory in Texas. And I think more people, if they knew this, would be excited about what's happening to make America amazing again. And I just made that up. So I see you in the next one. Like, share, subscribe, and also hit the notification bell so you guys can get more information about all the other accomplishments that Tesla has. Everyone hates Tesla. And I always say, I don't know why when the future is electric.